Uh, this is an example of the Evoke Potential program that will be inside of Miraguide, scheduled for later uh, this year, 2014, and definitely 2015. It's made up of several components. Uh, there's an initial setup screen that allows you to select the type of Evoke Potential, uh, for example, pattern reversal, auditory Evoke Potential, somatosensory Evoke Potentials, and other ones, as well as the uh, uh, if it's in the case of pattern uh, reversal, uh, whether it's hemiretinal uh, or upper or lower visual fields, etc. Uh, the, the, that, once you set that up, then this event-related potential panel comes up in which you can determine the scaling of the potential uh, in microvolts as well as the latencies. Uh, one can examine 100 milliseconds or more uh, in a pre-onset of the event-related e event uh, and use that statistically to uh, calculate t-tests uh, for the latencies post-onset of the uh, stimulating event. One can also um, uh, look at different electrode arrays by uh, clicking here uh, and select as many electrodes as you wish. We can go up to 128 electrodes and certainly the 1020 system. And one can superimpose uh, 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 Voke potential traces uh, across conditions or uh, from different electrodes, for example. Uh, and also, uh, one can look at different topographies. Uh, this all will be integrated in one screen, and at the moment, these are parts uh, of the uh, program. Uh, this is the part where it's called topographies. You can have as many as 10 different heads <clears throat> in the future, at, uh, and you can select different latencies of the evoked potential to look at the electrical potential uh, and different perspectives. These are three-dimensional rendered faces uh, or face and one in the topography mode up here that you'll have control over uh, will allow you to look at the uh, brain itself at the uh, contours of the cerebral cortex or the neocortex as well as at the scalp surface. So I'm going to quickly show you a little bit about what this looks like when you're running the program uh, so you can see the dynamic changes. Also, one can see changes post. Um, uh, there you can rotate the, the uh, model. Uh, you can see the electrical potentials shifting and changing. Uh, and uh, one can uh, uh, stop the evoked potential and evaluate it at any particular time, at any particular latency. Uh, right now, it's actually an acquisition. There's 67 evoked potentials that it's an acquiring now. I think we'll go out to 100. Uh, but the purpose of this is to just show you the uh, rendering of the uh, scalp uh, and the electrical distribution of the evoked potential uh, it, as it evolves uh, in this individual and the ability to uh, rotate this head uh, and scalp and also, as I mentioned, to go deep inside uh, and actually remove the scalp mathematically and look at the surface of the neocortex and link that to particular gyri uh, involved in the uh, evolution of the evoked potential. So this is what we're seeing. This is just the beginning phases. Uh, we look forward to uh, presenting this uh, as a, a completely mature product in the near future.